Hey guys, welcome back to Hellblade. The last episode we uh, reforged the Sword of Onan and uh, we got to wade through the Sea of Corpses and uh, basically took it out for a test drive. Oh, seems like the voices are back. They sound exhausted. <laughs> Probably because they got so scared when uh, we were doing the challenges while reforging the Sword of Odin. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> The only voice that uh, Senua needs is uh, just me, really. Whoa. Feels like uh, they're gaining their strength back and they're uh, returning to their annoying selves. We're just returning to this door and uh, it's probably gonna open now. When I first tried to open this, it uh, just screamed at us. Ah, double doors. That'll be used for the, wi for the winter. Ooh, look at that. A stone right off the bat. I will tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafner, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, even though we have a uh, Odin sword, uh, it feels like we're still uh, what is it? She can feel pretty it. vulnerable. Oh shit! A great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name, and it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. <laughs> What are you afraid of, Senua? How would you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. Oh, damn. Interesting. I guess uh, we should just sprint. The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. Huh. That's that's interesting. I was hoping to uh use the sword. But I guess not. I mean that wasn't really so bad, like the darkness uh, trials was uh way worse than this. Oh, Trick. She knows that. Does she? What is that voice? 
Mother, do you hear that? Don't fall for it. It's me, Senua. <gasps> so loud. It's not her. Just so full of hate. So I just want to help them. Tell me what to do. Your father wants them to go away. And he only hurts me to silence them. But he's gone now. They always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say that I'm already dead. No, and that they won't be with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Oh. Don't Do you them. see them? Do you see their faces? He's coming! Send you! Help me! Help! Get me out of here! Don't go! She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She, oh, she took puzzle. her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father, Zinbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it? Her torch is going out. No, it's not. That's interesting how, um, I think, uh, Senua's mother actually has, a, like, the harmful version of, uh, the voices. Just because, yeah, the, the way she talked, it wasn't normal, like, the voices really was not helping her at all. Ooh. Cool. Go onwards. I wonder if uh, Senua just got uh, like the voices uh, from her father abusing her just because, you know how her mom had a mental illness and basically maybe her dad started abusing her just because of it and uh, she kind of developed a trauma but I guess it's all speculation I wouldn't even pretend that I know what I'm talking about <laughs> I'm just guessing Yeah, with uh, this torch, basically we're pretty safe. Uh, this is pretty nice. And we'll just uh, keep on lighting uh, the torches. I think they're, yeah. Ooh, ground is wet. Or at least I think it's wet. Ah, blood. <laughs> I guess uh, having more light would help. Whoa, okay. Oh, oh. Ooh. 
Oh man, this uh, sword is really effective against Vikings. Nice. Whoa. I guess if we uh, step into the darkness, the beast would uh, start hunting us again. Well, that's an easy choice, is it? Just need to keep on lighting fires. <laughs> Hmm. Wonder where the pattern is. Oh, wait. The blood on the floor. Nice. She has it. She did it. She's done it. Well done. This place. It reminds her of the isolating, suffocating darkness that she lived through as a young girl. Imprisoned in her room at night. The faces in the dark coming through the walls. She once thought everyone could see them. I mean, that's what children say all the time, isn't it? That there are monsters in the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them, her father, Zinbel, could see the monster on her. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Just because, yeah, Sen was the daughter of her mother, so maybe Zinbel assumed that she also was cursed with the darkness. I guess. And yeah, maybe she started uh, developing uh, whatever it is she's experiencing right now. Yeah, just like it said, even before she knew, her father already saw the darkness in her. It's pretty damn horrible, if you think about it. But then again, she wouldn't be so badass. Like, she wouldn't really be like the super charged warrior right now if uh, she didn't have the voices nor could she see patterns. Hmm. I think I'm a little bit lost. Hmm. Oh yeah, the spiral staircase. I didn't go downstairs. I wonder if the beast is even real. Maybe it's just uh, Senua's head. Oh, jeez. Hope to God she doesn't drop that torch. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, uh, just. Straightforward, I guess. The light's gone out. Run, run, get through it as quick as you can. Ah, 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 ah. The panic is here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, straight and a little bit right. She's stuck, she hasn't found the rings. Stay in the 
I mean, yeah, the the blindness challenge was way more horrible than this thing. <laughs> And that prepared as well for this. Ooh, we are near a rune. Is it in the walls? Hmm. What? Ah. <laughs> Why do you know? Just I'm trying to figure out how to match. Where is it? Come on. Nice. Oh. I didn't go in. She escaped the darkness, and she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Rian the Dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rain would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rain reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rain go in search of Fafnir. Hmm. Oh, what's over there? Nice. So many stones. The dragon Fafnir is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day, Fafnir crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafnir slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit and Fafnir sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man would want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure. Wait, so uh, we now own the Sword of Odin, are we gonna die as well? But then again, uh, Sen was a woman. It's a trap. The beast is coming. Whoa! What the fuck is that? No! 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 Just don't look back. Just go. <laughs> oh 
Oh shit. Keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. It's so interesting that uh, basically Senua's darkness is uh, making her badass, just making her angrier now, <laughs> and it's driving her forward. That's pretty high. But I guess we're on a pretty huge ledge. It's no problem. Like if you were rock climbing, you could probably uh, sleep with two people on this ledge. We're gonna kill the beast then. He's always watching you. You can feel She needs to find it. She lost it and she has to fight it. Find it. The torch alight. the wall Ooh. that cage uh, just teleported out of nowhere I guess that's the very first bug I've ever seen playing this game Ooh. Okay, gotta stop talking and uh, focus on killing. I could never get enough of that exploding parry thing. <laughs> oh, 
man. So good. Gotta be more conservative. Let Senua regain her energy. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. Thing here. An R. Hmm. Maybe it's in that dark uh, area. Seems like it. Ah, think I know what to do. Hmm. Oh, my God, we just totally missed this one. That should form the pattern we're looking for in the... Yeah. Not too bad. Had to check the other side just in case there's a stone there. Oh no. <laughs> I guess we have to walk through the water. Trying to see if uh, there's any other way. Just in case. I mean, going into the darkness isn't so bad, but uh, the sounds is very disturbing to me. Hidden over here. Nope. I guess no hidden caves. I mean, we haven't really uh, missed any of the stones, but uh, yeah, we're not going to be missing any now. Why doesn't she learn? Maybe she learns. 
would be very annoying if I missed one. Oh, I wanted to see what's up there. Fafner's gold all for himself. Rayan also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafner's heart for him. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. Hmm. He's basically Odin now, but now with birds. He understands birds. <laughs> Let's explore this one first. There's probably a stone in here. I think uh, we preempted that uh, piece of the puzzle. I'm pretty sure once we push down that uh, bridge over there, we probably will need to light the torch. And since we already lit it, we just need to, uh, yeah. Sigurd's new found power lets him hear the birds speak, and they say, Sigurd should eat the heart himself. Rian wants Fafner's gold. Sigurd should kill Rian before Rian kills him. Sigurd should find Brynhild, the Valkyrie, who sleeps an enchanted sleep. Sigurd heeds the bird's advice. He kills Rian, eats Fafner's roasted heart, and takes Fafner's treasure. And he embarks on a new quest. To ride to Hinderfell, and find Brynhild, the Valkyrie. Hmm. Seems like uh, we've found one piece of the puzzle. Oh shit, I didn't push the the bridge. Oh nice. Yeah, she automatically uh, <laughs> tackles that thing. Stop rushing me, ladies. Oh. There's a torch over there. Awesome. Faster, faster, keep going, keep going. What are you doing? 
Stop! Stop! <laughs> That's so convenient. Having the fires right there. Don't have to hear that uh, garm crap. Story time, I guess. Sigurd learns that Brynhild had once disobeyed Odin, and so he had her punished, stuck her with a sleep thorn, and put her body within a rampart of burning shields. Only a man who knew no fear would ever reach her. But like me, Sigurd is fearless and passes through the flames just as I did, and wakes the sleeping warrior girl. She teaches him the secret wisdom of runes, namely victory runes, ship runes, runes for persuasion, runes for truth, runes for healing and health, runes for perception and power. Like Sigurd, the greatest young warrior of the north, you must learn the secrets of the runes to fight amongst the gods in hell. I wonder what his goal is though. Like it seems like he's already uh, done everything he needs to do and... Ooh. Lots of bones here. Whoa! <laughs> Hello guys. That's so friendly this uh this place. Oh nice. I hear you. I'm coming for you. Oh no. Oh shit. I was <laughs> so angry. Ooh. Whoa. Interesting. I guess you have to hit uh, this boss uh, closer to its head. Seems like the body is uh, too tough. Ooh. <laughs> Got a lot of hits there. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, what? Oh shit. No. 
not really sure what I'm doing right now, but uh, I'm just gonna keep on rolling. Whenever it does that. Whoa! Oh man! Ouch. I didn't even know I got hit there. We got it. Oh, damn it. now not yet yeah I basically don't know what, I, what I'm doing and just fighting it with all my might See when you grab someone, they're they can reach you. <laughs> People think of evil as an unnatural, invisible force, and so invoke the gods for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the gods. A familiar hand. Cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals kept her trapped in that hole she couldn't say which was worse the darkness or the monster that her father had become she couldn't fight them both and so she left headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her if she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. But maybe Delian would still be alive. I'm so sorry, my love. She will save his soul. Even if this time she can't save her own. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this. It was my mission to make you hate. To hate the darkness with a passion so great it could focus your mind on this quest. Without it, I fear you could let those slack. All this time. 
time I wanted to protect you from the truth that would have destroyed you a long time ago. But you have conquered your darkness at every turn. You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. Then take me to the mountains, trust me. As deep as we can go. I won't stand in your way. She has to trust him. You will not survive what is in there. Nice. Got Dillion's head. Now we're headed somewhere. Finally here. Mother, I won't let the darkness trick me again. I know you're safe with the gods. I can feel Hela's gaze searching for secrets inside of me. Secrets that even I can't see. I'm not here to fight my past. I'm here for Dillion. I will fulfill my vow, whatever the cost. Well, I think it's uh, time to end this episode, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace!